<coughs> Shalom. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakagodash, and the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the whole for elect. This is your brother I'm Now Allah from GMS Chicago. And uh I'm gonna do a lesson about uh, getting chastised and scourge in this truth and why it is needed. And first I'm gonna start with Hebrews chapter twelve verse six For whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he son whom he receiveth. And you go into the word chast uh, chasteneth or chastisement means to train children you know, or to be instructed or taught or learn to cause one to learn to chastise or you come down here it says of a father punishing his son of a judge ordering one to be scourged or you, you see here in the seat to chastise with blows to scourge and all of this is meant to uh, discipline us and to humble us in this truth and in this truth you're gonna suffer and really uh, you're, you're supposed to suffer so that uh, you can at least be be uh be humbled down i'll read that again in verse six from whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourge every son whom he, whom he receiveth. It was looking to the NLT. For the Lord disciplines those he loves, and punishes each one he accepts as his child. And uh, a father in the household, a father is, a, is supposed to chastise his son. A father is supposed to punish his son so that his future... So, so that his son just doesn't become rebellious as fuck when he's older. Because nowadays you have those uh, single uh, mother parents, you know, uh, those where the where a child doesn't have their, their, their father in their life. And it's just the mother raising up the child. And when that child grows up without the father, that child really becomes rebellious. That child becomes uh, not disciplined. That child... Uh, Really, that child becomes out to be just a nigger. You know, he picks on nigger traits from his mom because his father wasn't around. Verse 7, If ye endure chastening, God deal live with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? And yeah, you know, you're supposed to suffer in this truth. You're supposed to receive scourges you're, you're supposed to receive discipline in this truth you know that just shows that the Lord is dealing with you verse 8 but if ye be without chastisement whereof all are partakers then are ye bastards and not sons and yeah just like again you're supposed to you're supposed to get uh, chastised you're supposed to Receive, uh, you're supposed to receive scour scourges in this truth to be to be humbled down and to be instructed the right the right way. You know, I'm gonna bring out First Peter real quick. This is First Peter. Oh, it's lucky. This is First Peter, Peter, chapter four, verse twelve. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much, in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. And in this truth, we are supposed to. In this truth, uh, we're going to go through uh, sufferings, just as Yahweh Shai. Uh, went through all kinds of sufferings. 
you know, the, the, the Lord's elect are going to go through uh, sufferings as well, and this truth. You know, that's, that's, that's part of being in this truth, is to uh, suffer. We'll bring up Proverbs chapter 19, verse 13. It's lucky. Starting at verse 18. Chest in thy son while there is hope, let not thy son spare for his crime. And the LOT says, Discipline your child while there is hope, otherwise, you will ruin their lives. And, uh, you know, the Lord, He, he chastened his, his, uh, his, his elect. Right? Because the Lord is instructing His elect. The right way in this truth. Job chapter Job chapter five verse seventeen. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth, therefore despise not the chastening of the Almighty. And then LT says, but consider the joy of those corrected by God. Do not despise the discipline of the Almighty when you sin. And yet we, we can't we can't despise the discipline of the, the Almighty is very much needed. That the Lord chasteneth, chasteneth uh, his elect as as if as if for his children it is very much needed to humble us down. And to guide us to guide us the right way in this truth. Because you, you, you see the average you see the average person out there, you know, you look at the world, the world uh, are not really getting uh chasteneth and that and that's uh and that's a bad thing, you know. The the world are are um are following after a death style and not a lifestyle. You know the world doesn't receive discipline. The the world will rather just choose to live a death to live a death style and just continuing following wickedness. But the hopeful elect, they're gonna be chastened. They're gonna be scourged every time to be uh, in instructed the right way, so that we don't take part of that second death, which America. Will be blasted by a nuclear fire, along with these two thirds and these heathen nations. One more precept. This is Psalm chapter ninety-four, verse twelve. Thus is the man whom thou chasteneth, O Lord, and teaches him out of the law. Go into the NLT. It says, Joyful are those you discipline. Lord, those you teach with your instructions. And hey, you know, uh, you know, uh, this is this is the this is the way to live, you know, to be instructed the right way, to be disciplined, to be scourged, so that we can be humbled down and not and not and not uh, uh, lean on to our own understanding, and not to do as we please. You know, well, uh, the Lord is uh, having His elect following, uh, following the, the 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 way how to how to live. But yeah, that was it to that uh, lesson. I hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.